Italy's oldest club has become used to relegation fights. But however tough the last five seasons have been, Genoa have never faced this. Ten games to go and only 18 points on the board. They last one in September. 3-2 Genoa! Mohamed Fares overturns the deficit. Since then, a lot has changed. New owners, the American 777 partners, took over. Three coaches have come and gone, and new players have been signed, including a central defender who chose the Genoa stage to perform on. Genoa have taken the lead. Leo Ustigard. I've been thinking about this since I was young, you know, to score in a big stadium uh, against a great team. And, and when you score there, it, for me, it's maybe one of the most special stadiums in, in the world. So uh, for me, it was an incredible feeling and uh, I will always um, remember it. As he's played in both England and Germany, 22-year-old Leo Ostigor was able to adapt to Andrei Shevchenko and then to the coach who replaced him, Alexander Blessy. I want to show that I'm a guy who, who, who fights for the team. Then I want to show my qualities. Uh, I think uh, you play football for yeah, not so many years and you need to enjoy and to do as best as you can in the games you get. And uh, now it's, this is a new league for me. I'm just very hungry to show what I can do. Blessing is a little bit different coach. Uh, he likes to press high. Especially for me and, and the team now, you can see that we, we fight and we do our best. So he's very like loud and he wants us to, to, to fight and to work hard. Uh, that's the main thing. Uh, and then, yeah, uh, we're still waiting on the, on the win, but uh, we still see that we fight as a team and we never give up. So, so that's, the, that's the main thing and uh, he's a top coach. While not the tallest, the Norwegian is seldom beaten in the air, somewhat reminiscent of his boyhood idol, the Ballon d'Or winner, Fabio Cannavaro. I, I know like they have had some very great defenders in, uh, from Italy and Serie A, and my favorite player is Cannavaro, so, so for me to play in Serie A and to try to <laughs> don't copy him, but like I want to play the same style as him and he's a big uh, idol for me. I learn a lot uh, every day. I love to have a clean sheet and to don't concede goals. That's my, my main job. Lautaro Martinez! What a block from Ostiga! But then I also love to score goals, so I'm trying to to do both things. You have to be 100% uh, concentrated and, and uh, be a fighter in this league. I think uh, that's very important. Under Blessing, Genoa haven't lost in the league and have conceded only twice in six games. But they can't seem to find the back of the net. Only Salernitana have scored fewer Serie A goals than the Rosso Blu. Portanova space has a shot, it's off the bar! A wonderful save! The last game was maybe the best game so far. We struggle a little bit, we are unlucky, we have so many chances and uh, I had a big chance myself and then the save on the line, the save happened. And 90 minutes against uh, Venezia, they save on the line and then we had some big chances, uh, you know, uh, Udinese, uh, Salentiana. So it's just this, this small thing and when we get the first win, I think we're gonna explode them. After six consecutive draws, Genoa would love to explode with a victory at Atalanta. But Ladia, though off-colour, still boasts the league's fifth best attack. Now, I know that Atalanta is a, is a team that press high, there a lot of energy. So it's not an easy team to, to play against, uh, so it will be a really, really hard game. You need to try to uh, score on the chances you get, uh, and you need to defend very well, um, as we have did in the, in the last games. We have nothing to lose. Uh, we, we are just going to fight and we are just going to um, try to get enough points and that's, that's the job. Uh, so we cannot go to Atlanta and have a, you know, a bad feeling. That's, uh, that's not going to happen. <laughs>